Hi guys, Sam here from Sam's Review and today I'll be doing a Sam Solar Review on the Disney Infinity 3.0 Rise Against the Empire playset and figurines. Let's have a quick look at the box. Here we've got a nice image of uh, Luke and Leia at the top from their New Hope outfits. Uh, the Death Star. Uh, then we've got the figurines themselves. We've got Luke here, the playset which is in the shape of the Death Star and Princess Leia. Now, these figures are exclusive to this playset. Uh, the only other way you can get Luke is in a special version here, which is an exclusive, which has an exclusive feature, which I'll be showing this in another video. But this is the only way you can get Princess Leia. Uh, also, if we take a look at the back of the box, here it says that they are compatible only with Disney Infinity 3.0. If you have Disney Infinity, one or Disney Infinity 2.0, they are not compatible unless you buy the Disney Infinity 3.0 software disc. So you need this to be able to play with these. And with that being said, let's open it up and have a look. So, if you saw my unboxing of the uh, starter pack for Wii U, you'll know that this is the first uh, Disney Infinity I've ever had. Uh, and I was on the fence of getting them, but now I have, I'm, I'm glad I have. Uh, here we are, get the figures out of the box, move the box out of the way. So when you get the figures out, they're like that. Also you get a, make sure I've got it the right way, there we are, you get a uh, card here with a code on the back, so if you've got the PC version, you could use both Luke and Leia in the PC version, which I won't be showing you the code, just in case one day I want to get the PC version. So, right. Pop these out. That's Luke. Okay, and naturally we'll go ladies first so here's a look at princess leia and i love her stance here and her whole attitude she's giving off very reminiscent of how she was in uh, a new hope so uh princess has got a, a, a massive blaster that she uses in the game i love the detail on these things i mean they're fantastic even if you just wanted to collect them as little figurines to go on your shelf i think they they look pretty cool so that's Princess Leia. We've got her to one side. Then you've got the Rise Against the Empire playset itself, which is just this, which is in the shape of the Death Star. So this is basically this playset is based on the original trilogy. So you need this to play the game. So you get your playset, uh, sorry, your base, and then you put the playset on the back here, and you put your characters. On the front here, so you need this and the updated disc to play this Rise Against the Empire playset. So that's that. And then we've got Luke, which is uh, the only other way, like I said, to get these two figures is in the playset we're looking at today, unless you get the exclusive version of Luke, which uh, I will show all of the exclusive versions in another video. They have quite a cool feature, so I won't be using this loop, I'll be using the other loop. But there's Luke there. Love his stance and uh, his whole detailing in his, in his outfit and in his hair. He looks fantastic in his lightsaber. So on the bottom of these figures, there it says Star Wars Lucasfilm Limited, Disney Infinity 3.0. So there we are, that was uh, a look at the playset, but also available are the Rise Against the Empire Power Discs. Now, basically, effectively what they are, you don't need these at all to play the game. They're basically a bit like DLC, uh, which, if you don't know, is downloadable content, uh, which adds stuff to the game, but they're not necessary, you don't need them at all, they're just an extra thing. So. In this pack here, I got these, these are about five pounds, I believe. But you pop them open here. And now that we get these out here. I'll give Disney Infinity that. They are uh, very well packaged. <laughs> it's 
So how do we get things out of the board? We don't want to break it. And it's that one. Look. And the last one's there. So what you would do with these is this one here is Princess Leia. Now you use this with the Princess Leia figure and you get her change of costume. Basically she'll be in her Return of the Jedi bounty hunter disguise costume. So what you do is you get you'd have your playset, obviously, the thing you're playing with there, and then you put the costume, the power disc, on there, one of the round discs, one of the one of the uh, round discs here, you put that on there, and then you put Princess Leia on top, and then it will change her costume. Now you can stack three of these things high with a character, and it will work. So that's that one, so you've got Princess Leia's Bounty Hunter Disguise. And on the back there, Disney Infinity 3.0. Once again, these only work with Disney Infinity 3.0. They won't work with Disney Infinity 1 or Disney Infinity 2.0. There we've also got a costume change for Luke, which will put him into his X-Wing fighter pilot outfit. So that's that one. And on the back, Disney Infinity 3.0, Star Wars. And then also you get two ships which are playable in game. So you get a Y Wing bomber. So there we go. And then the one I'm most looking forward to getting and playing is you get Boba Fett Slave One. Now the Boba Fett figure is coming out here in the UK on the 5th of February. So he's not available yet, but there is a look at Slave 1, which you can use with any character, but you know, you've got to get Boba Fett. Or Booba, as some people like to say, but I'm English, so I say Boba. So there is a look at the back. And that was it. That was a quick look today at the Star Wars Disney Infinity 3.0 Rise Against the Empire playset and power discs. So that was my review. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.